My dear, are you a Catholic? Um, well, yeah, I went to Catholic school my whole life, so I guess I am by now. Hmm. In this house, we are Baptists. Yes, the good Reverend Doctor was the head of his own flock. The Hard Rock Baptist Church. The devil and his cohorts conspired to oust me from my congregation. Now, Daddy, you know the devil ain't have nothing to do with it. It was you. You and your stubbornness, that's all it was. For it must needs be that offenses come into the world, but woe unto him by whom the offense cometh. I recognize the devil's handiwork when I see it. It's good. Please, let's not argue at the dinner table. Flipper, have you met Angie's folks? Not as of yet. Well, um, my mother passed away. And my father, he's, um, well, he's asked me to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. It's, um, I just don't think we'll be having dinner there soon. <laughs> Well, has Flipper told you about his loving wife and daughter? Yes, yes. Uh, excuse me. You think I don't understand about the white woman committing black adultery, but I do. Now, Daddy, no sermons, please. You see, there was a lot of lynchings down in Willacoochee, Georgia, where I come from, and I was a boy. Willacoochee, Georgia. <laughs> what a name. Willacoochee. Mm. <laughs> White man say to his woman, baby, you are the flower of white southern womanhood. Too holy and pure to be touched by any man, including me. I'm going to put you up on a pedestal so the whole world fall down and worship you. And if any nigger so much as look at you, I'll lynch his ass. She believed him, thought she really was holy and pure like the Virgin Mary. She let him put her up on that pedestal. Meanwhile, the husband, no sooner the sun went down, down to the slave quarters, grabbing up every piece of black poon tang he could lay his hands on, then running to the gin mill to brag about it. And that's how our blood got diluted in the lat holes, quadrooms, octoroons. And I'm sure that most of those high and mighty white ladies felt abandoned, but they were so proud to be white and therefore superior. They kept their mouths shut and their legs locked tight. But in the midnight hour, laying there alone on the hot bed of lust, I'm sure they must have thought what it would be like to have one of them big black bucks the husbands were so desperately afraid of. I feel sorry for you. Here it is, the night is still trying to make up for what you missed out on. But I don't blame you. As for the black man, like my own son Flipper, who ought to know better, got a loving wife and daughter, still got to fish in the white man's cesspool. I have nothing but contempt. Excuse me. I don't eat with whoremongers. But you knew she was coming. That's all right, Mama. That's all right. It's all right. Angie, we're leaving. Let's go. Mama, I'm sorry. But you invited them. 